Welcome everybody. Uh, glad you came, and uh, I'm going to turn it over to Carol Oppendorf, the <laughs> president of the Keep Pickens Keep Pickens <laughs> to uh, carry on the program. All right. Well, I do welcome all of you, and uh, we have some visiting people. We thank uh, Robert and being here, and Billy, and we've just got a lot of people. Mr. Swain is running for office. Denise over here, who donated the the marble. So we've got a lot of special people here today. You're the manager of Hubble? Yes, sir. Um, oh, and the manager of the Hubble. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Carol here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good to see you. Yeah. Okay, and then I'd like to introduce our board members. This is Bill, who's the vice president. We've got to figure that out. Stan over here, he does our litter index and all our technical things. Well, we're trying to get an article in the paper if we can. You'll be noticing in around the county the signs where there's names under the adopted road. Well, these people have either out the road or not picked up any longer, so we've had some stick on signs saying available to adopt. So if you see those, spread the word. We need number one, someone to adopt the road, but uh, we need to publicize it as much as possible. She was one of the first people that uh, solicited the west side of the county for adopter for roads Road. and really promoted that area uh, extensively uh, on the adopter road. And we, uh, I've searched the records, we go back to 1989. Yes. And uh, we've done had a lot of projects. I think our first uh, doing was the doctor role, but we do beautification, which is what Mary Ann does. We do uh, publicity, and uh, most of the people have a good job. Uh, a couple of our people that are not here, uh, Fran helps with the green ribbon, green thumb. We look around That's the county for around. nice yes, places yes, to. Yeah. Recognize. Award people with, yeah, well, recognize. A, that's how I got involved. Exactly. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I'm not sure. Well, yeah, Fran, yeah. then we get we yeah. won the award for the best yard. Right. Yeah. Well, I got in it when uh, I was in Talking Rock. I was an ex officio from the town of Talking Rock. That's how I got started. And um, about 10 years ago, we were charged, the KPB was charged with reducing our solid waste in the county. We needed to reduce it by 25%. We just continue to work on that. Uh, I pulled out figures from just three places. The, the thrift store recycled 200 tons last year. Ooh. The mm. county, 450 tons. Yay. And Green Team, that's our uh, gal that picks up recycled around 122 tons. And that's just three places. So our go I'm going to try to get everybody. You, we've got a lot of places. You've got Home Depot. Walmart, there's just uh, all kinds of people that recycle. I'd like to see just how much we are recycling. And then we've got um, Diane Kinzer. She's a teacher out at Hill City. She's got a big project going this month. She has involved every single school, including our homeschool children, in a project for her. You watch the paper, you'll see it there. It's, it's a really neat deal. And Billy, we just thank the sheriff so much for letting you do the inmate work detail. Would you give us a report on just last month, if you could remember your figures? It was a lot. I can't remember the exact figures, but we picked up over 31 miles of road and over 500 and a few odd bags of garbage. I don't know how that translates into tons, but I'm sure it was several. It's, it's a lot. And of course, the key is... Uh, Bobby, our publicity uh, person, is saying he's got a little saying, uh, Twitter don't litter. So we're going to see if we can <laughs> run with that and do something yeah. with it. The goal would be to quit, have quit littering. Yeah. And yeah. this month, thanks to Rob, we have a tire amnesty. It will take four tires, passenger tires, off the rims to the 
the Recycle Center free of charge. Okay. And I've been at this 10 years, and you'd think pretty soon there wouldn't be any more tires, but they just see the people <laughs> reappearing. <laughs> it's unreal. Yeah, what? Yeah, they breathe in the back. I think so. <laughs> I think so. So that's one of our goals, too. And um, I think that just about covers everyone. Um, we have, where's. Here he is. He's just calling over here. Yeah. This, is, this is John's son, and this is Jan. She owns the Huddle House, and we like to yeah. thank her. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Very thank well. my husband. Yeah. Very glad to do it. We've done a lot of work on the, on the mural. And so, Marianne, I'm going to turn it over to you, and I think mm -hmm. she's going to share a little bit of history of this with us. Okay. Um, let me say first of all, the reason that the mural is here instead of on the water tank over there is because we had unfortunately some graffiti uh, one morning and um, I think Rob got a, phone, a frantic phone call, what do we do now, you know, <laughs> because they had graffiti the water tank. Well, it was very convenient because there's a ladder that runs right at the side, so they just walked up the ladder and sprayed everywhere. And so we decided that would not be a wise move to put another mural on the water tank. So Rob Jones, thank you so much, uh, came to our aid and we decided to engage the whole house yes. and put it in a safer place where there's light and people and people could enjoy it. Then I was, um, I'm a member of Marble Valley Historical Society, so I decided since marble is our, our industry here, thank you, Emery, that we should do something commemorating the marble festival, the marble industry. So then I made the fatal mistake of involving Mimi Jo Butler. How many of y'all know <laughs> Mimi Jo Butler? <laughs> well, she is our historian. Uh, she and some others that really know the county, so she said, it's got to be authentic, Mary Ann. I said, okay. So I was telling them, I would get about halfway through, and she'd come to look at it, and she'd say, that's not right. <laughs> it's got to be the Piedmont Mill. It's not the Piedmont Mill. Oh, no. So I'm hiking across the creek over there at your place in Marble Hill to find the Piedmont Mill, which has been closed down for months, and, and I'll show you that on the mill in a minute. But so... I got some old pictures and worked with the Piedmont Mill. <laughs> so we did make it as authentic as we could, and um, I appreciate Minnie Jo's help. We'll all miss her. Where are you going? Where's Billy Lingefeld though? Her phone went off. Oh, okay. Billy promised Mimi Jo. We also did the Fitzsimmons Cemetery, which is right there across from your plant. And um, Billy promised Mimi Jo just before she passed away recently to always keep that in perpetual care as for the county because it is, you know, on right next to the church there and we were afraid it, it was grown up with trees and everything when we took over. So uh, we have done all we can to, to commemorate the wonderful past of the marble industry and I'm sure you all have helped us with that. And I'll go back a little bit further. Polycore donated the, the marble and the uh, labor and the county helped us with putting the big marble monument up on the highway on 515, the one that says Jasper, Georgia, you know, the big one right there in front of the forest service place. So we're trying to keep the marble industry alive as much as we can. So at the, without further ado, we would like to get someone to help me pull this down. Here we go. All right. Okay. And everybody here who's a local knows who Henry Fitzsimmons was. Is there anyone who, who doesn't know? You want to pass those over? Yeah. You need a paper here. Yeah. Okay. And this we will install a nice copy here so whoever comes up can look at it and see what this means. This is These are vignettes that honor certain parts of the marble industry. We started, I started with Henry because he's the, <clears throat> he's really the founder. This is Henry who was, uh, the, the story goes, now you know stories get elaborated on over time. The story goes that Henry got a little bit inebriated on the stagecoach and was told he would have to get off. 
So I have him with his suitcase, you know, deboarding the stagecoach. And he picks up this stuff and he says, my goodness, this, this looks like something I've seen in Vermont, which was his home. And it was marble. And so he founded the Long Swamp Marble Company, the original name of George Marble. <laughs> then we go on, that's item number one. You know, I think we did the school first. This is a school that just actually no longer in existence that was located out here. Number two is Henry. All right, you go down to number three. <clears throat> These were the original quarries that were just built into the mountains. Number, th those are two, three, and six. Now, this is the cemetery I mentioned. It's across from Emory's plant down here on 53. <clears throat> we restored this cemetery with much with the help of the county to get it all cleaned up. There were trees, you know, eight inches big growing up in the cemetery when the historical society took it over. And all the graves have been marked. Okay. Honka Post Office. How many of y'all know that little cute little building over in Lee Newton Park? The little, that's this building. And it was donated and moved. But it originally it stood out here in Marble Hill, and it was post office. Isn't and it this, over there by the Ace now? Yeah, uh-huh. It was over there. Probably a lot of you remember it being over there before it was moved, okay? It says located near the Foothill Shopping Center. Okay, and then we've got... Um, I painted this from a photograph. Wow. And I painted this from a photograph. All the rest of it is my imagination much with, with Mimi Joe's critiques. Okay, then we had early marble carvers. They were brought from Italy. How many of y'all have ever been to Italy? To, okay, you know how gorgeous the, the Cabrera a marble industry is over there. Well, they were brought here originally and many of them stayed to, to teach carving to the local uh, folks down here. This is the famous Piedmont Mill that I had to jump the creek and crawl across to find it because these are school children from Marble City School. But I had them in front of an old school. Maybe just said that won't fly. We've got to have it, the Piedmont Mill. <coughs> so this building is still standing. You can see it from 53 as you come across. It's over on the right. You can see a rusty looking roof. That is this building. because I'm, I'm a transplant from Fulton County in Atlanta, but, but I love the county and I love the people. And so this was just something I wanted to do. And thanks to Robert and, and the county, uh, you helped us with it. Thank you very much. Okay, that's it. Thank you. 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 Thank you.